Hi, I'm Millie Davenport, a horticulture extension agent with the Clemson University Home and Garden Information Center. Today we are going to look at cross vine, Bignonia capriolata. This morning we're in the South Carolina Botanical Gardens and we are looking at a native vine that's actually evergreen to semi-evergreen. This is cross vine, Bignonia capriolata. The reason this gets the name cross vine that I originally thought was because of the way the stems and the leaves met. Um, it does create a nice cross pattern here that actually I often have used that for identification purposes. The true reason for it getting its name as a cross vine is that you get a cross pattern right here in the pith where there's like a green line going across. Today we're going to look at two cultivars or selections of this plant. The one we're looking at here, this is Jekyll, and as you might guess, Jekyll does come from the name Jekyll Island in Georgia, which is where it was selected. It was chosen for its really nice, um, vibrant orange flowers. Now the actual straight species itself has more of a reddish brown outer coloring to the trumpet and more of an um, orangey yellow color to the center. The one thing we do lose with the um, cultivars that we are looking at today is the fragrance. The actual species has a beautiful mocha fragrance to it and we lose that with these selections. Jekyll is really nice um, because of its nice vibrant colors. It's uh, got a nice um, show with lots of flowers and really nice foliage. One thing about Jekyll that has proven to be really nice about this selection is that it's more reliably evergreen and also that it's more cold hardy than the other um, selections and species itself. Now Tangerine Beauty, um, that is an older selection that's available and Tangerine Beauty has a, flowers that are a bit smaller but they do have a lot of flower power and give you a really nice show. Crossvine in general is going to grow best in a full sun area. If you have an area with a bit of part shade, it will do okay there, but you're not going to get quite as many flowers as you would with a full sun area. Um, you want to place it in a moist soil that's yet well drained, but it will tolerate a lot of different soils from sandy to clay soils all through the state of South Carolina. Crossvine has a really great ability to climb up different surfaces, so if you're looking for something to add to a trellis or a fence in your landscape, this would make a really nice addition. Plus, it's a native plant that would be great in any landscape. For more information on gardening, landscaping, insect and disease problems on your plant, visit the Home and Garden Information Center website at www.clemson.edu/hgic.